Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am doing the highlighter challenge for you today and I'm super excited about this video. I've been wanting to do this ever since I've seen it first trending on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy and you probably will hear some noises like that in the background because my baby's in the playpen here behind me. So I'm sorry if he is loud the entire video but what's a mama gonna do? And okay so I went ahead and did my brows real quick and uh, the first thing I'm gonna use is the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer and it's really shimmery and shiny so I thought it would be the perfect primer to use for this tutorial not tutorial but challenge and I'm not really sure on the exact rules I don't know if you're supposed to use strictly highlighters for everything or if you're just supposed to use like shimmery products for everything like bronzers with shimmer to contour but I don't have enough highlighters to do everything so I'm just going to do all like shimmery products okay so now that I am all primed I think I'm in focus okay I am going to skip out on foundation altogether I've seen some people use like luminous foundations and then just uh, go in with highlights and stuff on top but I'm just going to actually use a liquid highlight for uh, my foundation. I've um, actually got two. I'm using the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminators by NYX and I'm going to put Gleam in areas where I want it to be darker and Sunbeam in areas where I want it to be lighter. So I'm just going to squirt some out on my hand and I'm going to dab this in the places where I want the darker color. Okay, so I'm taking the sunbeam color and putting it in places where I want the lighter shades. Okay, now I look like the Tin Man. Uh, now I'm going to take the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Luminous Translucent. This has no color to it, but it is just like shimmery. So this is what I'm going to use to set my foundation. Just taking a fluffy brush and putting that all over to set all that down. Okay, now I'm going to move on to contour. And for that, I'm going to use this Pop Beauty uh, Sunkissed Bronzer in Secret Sunshine. And this is probably the most cool tone bronzer I have. And it's about gone, but I can still probably get some enough to contour. And I'm going to start sculpting out my cheekbones. And that just looks so wrong. Now I'm going to contour my nose. Ooh, so shiny. Okay, now to bronze. I'm going to use the Hard Candy Bronzer in Heat Wave, and it's a lot warmer. And I'm going to take that to actually just bronze my face. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to eyeshadow before I do blush and highlight. And I'm going to go into the Swamp Queen palette. My video on this should already be up, but if not, just keep looking for it. And I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the color SFS, which is this really sh pretty shimmery, like, pinky champagne color. And I am just going to take that and put it all over my lid for just a base. Okay, so now for the rest of my eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadows because I thought they were perfect for this challenge. And I'm going to go in for my crease shade. I'm going to use Grandstand and 
with a fluffy brush I'm just going to work that all into my crease I haven't put a shimmery color in my crease in I can't tell you how long I'm having flashbacks to my early teenage years Now I'm going to take the uh, color Flamethrower on another fluffy brush and kind of focus that in my crease, but not up quite as high as Grandstand. <laughs> now I'm going to take the shade Showtime on a small angle brush if I can find it Hi, right here and I'm going to put that in this outer corner Now I'm going to take that fluffy brush that had that first color on it and I'm going to just kind of use that to blend and get rid of any harsh lines. It may all be shimmery but it still needs to be blended. I'm going to take the color Fortune Taylor and I'm just going to use my finger for this part and I'm going to put this right in my center of my lid. And then I'm going to take the color Magic Act which is more of a champagne gold. It's gold but it doesn't look quite as gold next to that yellow. And I'm just going to kind of put it in this inner corner. I blend it in with that yellow. Then take the fluffy brush one more time and kind of blend that to get rid of any of the harsh lines. Now I'm going to take the color Starry Eyed, which is my favorite inner corner and brow bone highlight. And I'm going to highlight the inner corner. And brow bone. Okay, now I'm going to add some eyeliner really quick and I will be right back. Okay, so I have my eyeliner on and for my blush, I'm actually using a Becca highlight and this is in rose gold because this is dark enough to be a blush on me. And I'm just going to swoosh that and apply that to my cheeks. Now I'm going to take the uh, blush, the luminous blush because it is very, very shimmery and pretty and I'm going to add a little bit of that too. And then on top of that, I'm going to take uh, Becca Shimmering highlight whatever it's called in moonstone and I'm just gonna barely sweep that on top now for my really intense highlight I'm actually going into my Swamp Queen palette and I'm going to use Gator Wings this is the most gorgeous most in your face highlight I've ever used I love it it's so shimmery and so pretty and I feel like it's pretty much the only one that I have that's really going to show up on top of all these other highlighters and really stand out. Okay, now I am going to take the uh, Becca Highlight in Pearl, this really white, gorgeous highlight. And 
I'm going to layer that on top. Okay, now I put my mascara on, and for my lips, I'm using the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in, what is this called? Uh, what is this called? Foiled Love. And I don't think this is a liquid lipstick anymore. I'm pretty sure it's just a lipstick. But, um, it has all kinds of, like, shimmer and glitter, and I thought that red would be perfect for this look, so that's what we're going with. It's not really shimmer or glitter, it's kind of like a foiled, foiled looking, metallic, that's the word, metallic liquid lipstick. And there we have it. So this is my completed look from the highlighter challenge. I actually am pretty happy with the way it turned out. I look like the Tin Man, but I love Shine, so it actually doesn't bother me. I kind of like it. I would probably go to Walmart looking like this. But you should see how good Walmart looking sometimes. It's not saying much. But I hope y'all enjoyed watching this. I had a blast filming it. I have been looking forward to doing this. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Please comment. Tell me what you think down below. If you have done this challenge, please send me pictures. Uh, link me to videos, whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.